Hey, welcome to the channel where we show you how to put some prep in your step. Today I want to talk to you about using your command line to automate your prep flows. And you can do this to automate files that are saved locally. You can use this to automate output to a database. You can even use it to automate published data sources on your Tableau online or Tableau server depending on the type of credentials you've got set up. There are some limitations to this. And really the biggest one that might be a, a big barrier is if you're using um, single sign-on authentication. There, This doesn't work with that quite yet. Um, so you'd have to find a, a different way around it. But um, if you have a username and password login for your Tableau server or online instance, um, then you could use this as a way to automate some of those prep flows, uh, especially if you don't have prep conductor. Uh, so let's take a look at this and dive in. So right here, I've got uh, the help page pulled up from Tableau. Um, and actually a lot of the information that you need is right here. So it tells you what your limitations are. Um, so you've got these JDBC or ODBC connectors, uh, cloud connectors and single sign-on, uh, some limitations here. Um, but it even tells you that you can, uh, once you set up the process, that you can then set it on a task scheduler. Um, and it also tells you exactly what you need to implement in uh, your command line to make sure it runs properly. Now, the first thing that you're going to see here is you'll need administrator privileges um, and you'll need to know the path where it's installed. Um, you, if you are connecting to databases or publishing to databases or to uh, Tableau online or server, then you'll need all of those credentials uh, in a JSON file that you create. And it also shows you what the format of that file needs to look like. Um, and then lastly, you need to have the location path where the prep flow itself is located. So if you kind of come down here on the page a little bit, it explains the different types of connections and the format of your credentials file. And so for Tableau server, you've got the server URL, um, the site ID, uh, the port, username and password. And so that's the example we're gonna be working with today. Um, if you were using a database connection uh, or R and uh, TabPy, all of that stuff is here. But I'm just going to show you an example of what that looks like with a published data source so you can see it in action. So if you come down here, it shows you this is what your credentials file needs to have in it to connect to your Tableau server. So you've got the server URL right here. Then you've got the site and then the port 443 and then username and password. And so I've got my credentials file right here. You don't get to see my username and password. Um, but so this is my uh, Tableau online uh, dev instance. So this is the actual URL. And then this is the site ID. And if you look at the uh, URL itself, let me get this pulled up for you. So if you see on my Tableau online, so this piece right here, is the server URL and then you'll see this hashtag and um, this site and this right here is my actual content URL my site ID and so that's what needs to be in the credential file here and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my username and password in here so that way I can save the file and password and so now I'm gonna save this um, and what I'm gonna do is I've got a little location set up for this. And so I'm setting, naming this uh, Tableau Online Connections and I'm gonna save this. You can see I've already got one, but I'm gonna go ahead and save over it. But Tableau Online Connections dot, dot JSON, right? And so it should save over that, yes. Okay, so that's my credentials file. So now what I need to do is actually set up the command line that I can use to automate the flow. And what the flow that I'm gonna be using as an example here um, is just this simple little flow. So this is just a, a segment of the Superstore sales sample um, that I'm just publishing. One, I'm actually gonna to publish to my dev site and one I'm gonna to publish to a folder. Uh, so that way you can see that it works for both. It works if I'm storing the file locally and it also works if I'm publishing that, that out. Um, and so that's all it is really just super simple flow. Obviously it could be a more complicated, complex flow, um, with also with multiple connections. Um, but right now we're just going to test it with connecting to my, this is actually a connection, a data source from my dev site. 
And so I'm connecting to it, but also publishing out back to my site. And so just so we can see, I'm going to store it in my default folder. So right now I've got nothing here. And so if we go back to the uh, help page, we can see down here, there's a couple of different uh, sample command, command lines. So this first one here is if you're just connecting to local files and you don't need to use your credentials file, but we're connecting and publishing out to the server. So we need to make use of that credentials file. So we would make use of this one here, the flow connects to databases or publishes to a server. So this is the sample that they've got here. Um, it makes it really nice and easy, especially since there's already a batch file for Tableau prep. Um, you can, it, it really simplifies this whole process. Um, and I've used it, it's, it's extremely useful. Um, and th there may be some niche use cases for it. I've happened to, to fit into that category, but you know, hopefully you can find some use with this too. Um, so this is the sample file or the sample command line. And so what I've done is you can see, so this right here is the sample line. So the first line here is the location where um, prep builder is installed and also the location to that batch file. And so for me, that's my program files. And then there's that script and that batch file. So the next thing is my credentials file. It says the path to your JSON file. And for me, that's right here. So I've got my um, Tableau online connections file that we just created. And then lastly, you need the path to your uh, flow itself. So if I take this, copy that and go back here and let me just run my command line. And so if I run that, paste that in and run it and you can see, there it goes. It's running, loading the flow, uh, creating temp directory, adding, updating my credentials. And it says that the updated the connections with my credentials checking the flow. And so, you know, really nice and easy. It's running the prep flow um, without me having to actually open up prep builder. And you can see it was running and it finished. And so first let's check um, my Tableau site and see if that's been updated. So let me refresh here. And there you go. There's the data source that I just published without opening up prep builder and just running through my command line. And then if I go and check my, my local file, uh, I've got it stored here in my data sources and we can see it's 620 uh, right now. So it just ran and there you go. So it published to both locations all by just running it through the command line. And so if I wanted this to be an automated process, either on a local machine or even automating it on a, on a server that we have access to, or even like a VM, if you have a cloud VM that runs processes like this, so that way you don't have to bog down um, a, a local machine. Uh, what you could then do is take that command line here. So let me take this file um, and I'm gonna delete this because I don't need it. So I can take this notepad and what I can do is save this. Um, I can see all files and you see that I've already got a copy of it here, but but essentially what you could do is you can name it whatever you need to and save it as a .bat file. And that's your batch file. So if you save that, so now that I've got that, uh, what I can do then is open my task scheduler. And I'm gonna create a new task for this. So let's say create task over here. And I'm just gonna call this run daily superstore summary. Okay. Uh, my trigger, let's say I wanted to run this daily, uh, once a day. That said, I want to do this at eight. Um, so I want to do it at 8 a.m. every day. Okay. Let's see. I could repeat it hourly even if I wanted to. Uh, so let's say that. Let's just say I want to do it hourly. Okay. And my action is it's going to start a program and the program that it's going to start is my batch file open. Okay. And there we go. So now I've got the task created. It's going to run every hour and it's going to automate out to my local folder and to my, uh, Tableau site. And so even just to test that out, what I can do is I can run it and you see it opens up my command line, um, and starts running the flow and, follows the same process as it does the first time. 
Um, so like I said, this can come in handy if you've got uh, some data that needs to be clean but also needs to be sent out on a regular cadence. Uh, this is one way to do that to where you can even uh, one of the ways that I've found it really useful. Um, we've got some third party partners that we use um, for some of our data processes and the best way for us to get them the, the data that they need is with uh, SFTP. Uh, so with this, I can automate a daily dump into the folder that we've designated for that process, that their process then it goes in and picks it up. Um, so this really helps out with that. Or um, like I mentioned earlier, if you've got a Tableau server or Tableau online site that uses um, username and password credentials, you can also automate your prep flows uh, without prep conductor using this method. It's when, you, you know, that limitation of the uh, single sign-on authentication really limits the usefulness of this if you're using that, but um, you can still find other uses for it. I've found other uses for it. Um, so yeah, I really hope that uh, this is something that you find useful. Uh, if you've got any feedback or comments, any specific use cases you want to see, just let me know, drop me some comments, and I hope to see you in the next one.